Hi everybody, welcome back to Day of the Tentacle Remastered. That's right, we're uh, 200 years ago uh, in the past in America. We're Hoagie, uh, also known as uh, Fat Slash from uh, Guns N' Roses. This is what Slash pretty much would probably look like if he really packed it on post um, Use Your Illusion 1 and 2, I'm thinking. Anyway, uh, we last left off trying to clean the carriage, which didn't work. Um, there's reasons for doing a lot of this stuff, and maybe we should switch back to Bernard for now so to see what we need. So as soon as we get that battery working, we're set. I'm afraid not. We still need a diamond for the main unit. Oh shit, and yeah, the diamond. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still oh. alive. What, there's no power alive? in the future? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Okay, yeah, so that was what I was saying last time. Remember I said that uh, we had to get rid of that tree somehow? So, Hoagie has to chop it down. Can we actually pick this up while he's not... Get away from that! <laughs> okay, no, we can't. Uh, we can turn this back on, I think. Should we push the lever? There, it's off. But it's too late now. Okay, well, we've turned it off anyway. The, the sludge o -matic, I don't even remember what to do with this thing, Warning. if anything. Output from this device is highly toxic and may cause tyrannical delusions if ingested. Okay, we've got the hamster generator here, which um, I think we actually need a hamster for. I think it's for. designed to run with something, more like a small rodent. Okay, and this will give us power here, but I guess we somehow need to get the power back in time or forward in time. I'm, I can't exactly remember. I think we can do something with this mug, but I can't remember what. Anyway, let's go over here and see if we can pick up this flyer. Nice. And let's also talk to... Let's push Chuck the plant. I can't touch it. It's spiny. Okay, maybe we can use the pack of flyers on the... What does this flyer even say? It's from George's Hardware. Nice. George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. That's right. Wait. Does that mean that... Hang on a second. Okay, 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 okay. So, if we want to get a vacuum cleaner in the basement, we should be able to... Hey, look, it's the mummy again. Look, he's here. Okay, so if we want to have a vacuum cleaner in the basement in the future, right, we should be able to put this in the mailbox. I'd rather not. Okay, so if we need a vacuum cleaner in this time, then we can put the flyer in the mailbox back in time. It means we have to flush it to Hoagie. All right, dead cousin Ted, how you doing? Let's talk to him. This is creepy, isn't hey, it? Hey, Ted. Talkative as ever, eh, Ted? So this guy's been dead for some time. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Boy, I wish I had as little on my mind as you do. Well, I'd best be on about saving the world. Let's see what he says to this. Boy, I haven't seen you since I was here five years ago. Okay, you haven't changed a whole lot. You haven't changed a whole lot. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend Hoagie. You know, I bet you'd really like my friend <laughs> Hoagie. He's a roadie for a heavy metal band. You could hit him over the head with a bowling ball and it wouldn't phase him. He can pass out standing up and not drop anything. The two of you have a lot in common. I guess I'd best be on about saving I the world. I guess I'd okay. best be on about saving the world. Is he holding a bird bath? He is. What the hell? I guess not too many birds bathe in the evening. No. Oh. Can we take this help wanted sign? It's on the other side of the window. All right. Okay. Of course it is. Let's go get it from the other side of the window, shall we? Oh, yeah. Here we go. Look. Man, I would have missed that. Okay. So we have to bear in mind that... How do we get this fake barf off the I ceiling? I can't reach it up there. Do we have anything that could reach fake barf off the ceiling? A vacuum cleaner could work, right? Okay, I, you know what? We're going to have to do this vacuum cleaner thing, I think. We're going to go into the dark passage, Bernard, uh, and we're going to flush this flyer to Hoagie because I think that this might work. All right. Okay, I flushed it. 
Okay, Hoagie. Now, let us see time travel in action, shall we? Hoagie uh, needs to go to his toilet. Um, <laughs> sorry, his chronojohn. <laughs> he needs to go to his chronojohn and get uh, the thing. Should be waiting for us up here near the outhouses. Hoagie's just sort of uh, lumbering over here. Can we see it? Yes, okay. We can get the flyer in the toilet. Wonderful. And now, what we should be able to do is... I think we have to put the flyer in the mailbox? Possibly? Is that right? Does the flyer go in the mailbox? Why was the, Why would the flyer have to go in the mailbox? I don't even remember. I don't wanna. Okay. Maybe we have to give it to... Oh, you know what? We have to give the flyer to the guys who are writing the Constitution. So that they add it into the Constitution, and then every American home must have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. And then we'll use that to suck off the barf from the ceiling, right? What do you think of I this, John wanna. Hancock? No? Uh, what do you think of this, um, Thomas I don't Jefferson? Wanna. What do you think of this fucking, um, use the flyer with the Constitution in progress? Can we actually do that? I don't wanna. Okay, George Washington, you're our last hope. I hope this works. George? I don't wanna. George! Maybe if we try to pick up this log. Sorry, I'm saving it. For it's what? It's to be a famous log. Okay, let's pick up the time capsule. Don't touch that, it's government property. How can we put some stuff in hey, here and also Spiffy. amend My the Constitution? Tyke. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Horseman? Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Okay, we need to have, like... Dude, is that, like, the Constitution? Could you start a fire, Could you please? start a fire, please? I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. Uh, what's in the can, Tommy? What's in the can, Tommy? <laughs> Thomas, my name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. You bastard, don't call Hoagie chubby. Of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. 400 years hence. Okay, so that's Laverne's time. So how's the time capsule going? How can you let Hancock suffer like How that? How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Okay. Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was color captain theory? of the no way. cravat team. <laughs> cravat Those team. are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. And okay. Um, dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. So how's the time capsule going? Dude, is that like the Constitution? Did we actually ask him this? Dude, is that like the Constitution? I can't right even remember. No, it's just a Constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why right. we put up a suggestion box over there. Oh, shit. Okay, of course. Later, Later bro. bro. All right, the flyer's what? going in What's there. What's going to happen later? You tell me, Tommy. I have no idea. Jesus Christ. All right, let's put this flyer into the suggestion box. Done. Hey, guys, <laughs> I put a really awesome well, suggestion in the box. Quiet in here. I wonder if there might be any ideas worth discussing in the suggestion box. I totally Maybe forgot about the suggestion box. Take a look. Oh, here we go. I say, lads, I have an idea. <laughs> Fucking George Does Washington stealing all the good do ideas. With starting a fire? No. I was thinking it's about time we open the suggestion box. Don't you agree? Sure, George, if you say so. All right, get yes, on it, John. Whatever you think is fine with us. Excellent. All right, this is where we rewrite American history. What's he thinking? For the good of no everybody. No one of any importance has been here all day. What could be in the suggestion box? Wait till you see it, Perhaps John Hancock. You're going to gonna suggest something shit himself. your pants. Oh. Ah, here's a suggestion. 
It says, George says that every American should have a vacuum cleaner in their basement. <laughs> what do you think, gentlemen? Yes. Raise your hands. Mm, whatever you say, George. Your name's on it. I'm sure you must have a good reason for <laughs> suggesting it. Yeah. Jesus. It's strange. I don't quite... Well, I'm sure I had a reason for it. If there nice. are no objections, we shall add it to the Constitution immediately. Wonderful. No? Good. And so shall it be law. Oh, man. What's Damn, it feels good cleaner? to help with the Constitution. Here we go. Oh, look at that. Uh, you suck. Damn. Oh, man, that is satisfying. Okay. There are other areas of the house to explore, uh, and I think that maybe we can get to Red Edison down here in the lab, right? Hoagie can just about fit. Perfect. Okay, dues. We can't do... Oh, there's the bulletin board. Let's see what he's up to. With plans and junk. All right, so this is Red Edison. Well, let's talk hey. to him. What is it? Um, you look kind of familiar. What are you doing? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Nice. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. <laughs> well, perhaps. Then again, maybe not. Oh, fuck you, Red. Uh, do you know Ben Franklin? Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. Oh, he has the stupidest poor idea ben. about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like? <laughs> oh god. Okay. Well, see you later. What are you inventing? What are actually? you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Oh, yeah. Uh, well, okay, see you later. See you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Nice. That was really cutting, actually. All right, so we need to give the um, patent application to Red Edison. There you go, Red. Mm, super battery, eh? That's right. Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. <clears throat> now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Where the hell am I going to get vinegar and gold? I have oil, so I guess let's give him the oil. Can we make vinegar and gold? No, I don't think we can. Anyway, Red, here you go. Ah, excellent. I need no problem. that for my super battery. All right, so Hoagie now has purpose. We have to fabricate a super battery. Also, we're going to take hey, a lab coat. What? Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Can I become one of your employees? There's a letter here. Oh, look, I think we can use letter with Red Edison. Here you go. I don't want to. That's the one that said go to Baltimore straight away, right? Okay. I don't know what we have to use the spaghetti for. I can't remember. And the bulletin board. I don't think there's anything else down here. We can't really do anything with the lab coat. I mean, we could just look it at the lab coat. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Okay, so for the super battery, we need some... Wait, is that a hammer? Okay, I can't pick it up anyway. I think we've exhausted most of the dialogue options that we need for Red Edison. For now, anyway. All right, let's check upstairs, shall we? Upstairs is always like a bit of a, a weird one for me. I can never remember what's up here. All right, let's open this door and see what's in here. All right, this is uh, this is George Washington's room, I guess. <laughs> okay, let's pull this cord. What happens? Here I oh, am. Hey. Don't get your curls in an uproar. Okay. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. What? Does she actually think that I'm George Washington? No way. Hey, lady. To her? Yes, Mr. Washington. Uh, don't you have any cleaning supplies? Don't you have any cleaning supplies? Like vinegar? Like most maids, I keep them on my cart, in the hall. Oh, no fucking way. Okay. I'll let you get back to your work. All right, lady, thanks. Yes, there's lots to be done. Okay, stay in here for a long-ass time so I can go steal all the shit from your cart. Okay, let's see what's on here. There's soap here. Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. 
Get away from that. What the hell? It's a good thing I finished in there quickly. Oh, we have to now lock her in. Scram. Damn it. They just okay. don't make founding fathers like they used to. Man, that... I don't know about you guys, but that accent feels like all over the place to me. But maybe it's like authentic. I have no idea. All right. How are we going to... Can we jump on his bed? Can we use his bed? Oh, okay. So we have to like... Oh, maybe she has to... Okay, maybe we had to do that. And now we use the cord. And it's going to take her Here some time Don't get your curls in and up, to bro. make the bed. Excuse maybe this me, is it. Mr. Washington. Boy, yeah, yeah. What a mess. Yeah, I know. I made a real mess today. God, I'm so sorry about that anyway. So she's busy in there. So I should be able to... Ha <laughs> ha! Yes! All right. Is there anything else on here that we can maybe That's get that I can't see? That's not what I'd call a lot of cleaning supplies. Hey, look! It's the uh, guy. <laughs> it's him. Uh, anyway, let's open the door and. I told you guys, I'll get to the flag next. I'm working oh as fast God. as I can. What are you doing? Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. Um, actually, I've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Um, could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on <laughs> Nice. How about a skull with, like, scorpions in its mouth? It should have a hologram on it somewhere. We need a babe in a leather bikini swinging a broad axe. I think I'm gonna go for the chrome-plated bald eagle Could robot. Could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on it? That sounds sweet. Oh, what the heck. At this point, nice. I'd do anything just to have it over with. Okay, do it up, lady. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Okay, cool. Can we actually take this pattern? Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. Come on, Hoagie. Can we use this bed? Can we, like, mess it all up? I couldn't sleep in here with all the racket. Okay. Who asked you uh, to? There's an American flag prototype here that we can maybe take. I don't take. want them. Okay, I know he does that not want them. And there's the sewing machine. And this lady is Betsy Ross. She's really going for it the on the sewing machine. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest. And in the four corners, they want a keg, some bass, <laughs> a guitar, <laughs> and some drumsticks. And nice. underneath it all put America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. Okay, we'll do that. So we need to some plans so, so she can sew us together something anyway. What's in here? Oh, kite plans. Aha. Okay, let's take these kite plans. I don't understand plans. that technical stuff. We can't take the kite plans. But there is a wine bottle here. Nice. Can we actually, like, open the wine bottle? Nah, it's a lousy vintage. Okay. There's Ben's bed and a drawer here. If you open this Grody, drawer. Grody, man. I don't go through people's underwear. Is that actually his underwear? Hey, what's that on the plans? It looks like a secret backwards message. Really? Oh, it's just a coffee stain. Oh, I got really excited there for a sec. All right, so we have some kite plans, and this is going to be Ben Franklin's stupid-ass kite, isn't it? And then there's more stairs back here. It's a big old mansion, right? Uh... The fuck? What? I, I don't remember this horse. Jesus. All right, horse. Can we talk to you? Uh, hi, horsey. <laughs> hi yourself. <laughs> what the fuck? Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. Um. So is this some kind of a trick? Nice teeth. Nice teeth. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Wow. Uh, some kind of trick. Did I mention how great your teeth look? Did I mention how great your teeth look? Thanks again. No problem. He keeps smiling too, it's nice. I wonder if when he's smiling I can pick them up out of his... We better not I gotta actually. Go. I think we have to See somehow get his teeth, but I can't remember... Can we actually pick up this it glass? It looks like someone's dentures were in here. 
Ooh. Hey, I've got to put him somewhere. Okay, so we have to like maybe he can drink the wine. Here, drink I this don't wine. Want no, he doesn't want to. Okay, that's understandable. I mean, that's kind of like animal cruelty, isn't it? Oh yeah, these guys. Question is, Statue guys. which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's Ned who? and Jed Edison. Does it really matter? Even our All right, dear Ned father Jed. can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Oh. Hold still, Jed. He is. So, Look, he's not moving oh, at all. I'm frightened to ask. Are you the marble delivery man? <laughs> uh. Or the model? Uh. Yeah, I'm the model. <laughs> No, I'm no Marvel delivery, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm the model. Should I take my clothes I'm off the model. now? Should I take my clothes off now? <laughs> no. No, you <laughs> Why? Most definitely should not. Come on, they're almost already off. Right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. <laughs> your statue That's would have rude. In it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. Oh my god. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I'm the delivery man. Okay, if I unload I'm in the here. Delivery man. Okay, if I <laughs> unload in here. <laughs> Fuck me. Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you. No. All right. This ain't medium. It's extra large stuff. I'm no marble delivery man. Barack is my life. Sorry. Hope I haven't Sorry, jostled you. Hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. Oh god. So we can actually pick up the hammer. It's a right-handed hammer. Oh, wait, did we actually get that? Please uh, give me back my hammer. Oh, we did temporarily get it. Yes. Oh, I see. So we have to give him a left-handed one if we can find it. And then there's the carving here as well. So. The carving uh, might have something to do with Bernard in Bernard's time. Should we check? Holy shit, we have not been back to Bernard for some time now. And that's uh, mainly because... Um, Jesus Christ. We've been spending all of our time with Hoagie. Which has been, it's got to be said, enjoyable. Anyway, uh, for Bernard now, let's um, start snooping around here a bit and see if we can find some stuff. There's the office back here. Oh, look. There is uh, some family photos that we can take, probably. Can I don't want to carry those people around in my wallet. There's a Swiss bank book here. Nice. Holy crap. Gee, Dr. Fred doesn't have a penny. Oh, great. That's useful. Okay, let's open this drawer. What's inside? Boo Boo Be Gone. We have some Boo Boo Be Gone, which uh, I it's guess a is super glue. Of correctional fluid. Okay, uh, there's a Darth Vader I calendar just here. Like it at home. There's a camera up here. That we can that try kind to... is too bulky to carry around all day. What's up with this portrait? I think there's like a safe or something. Yeah, okay, there's a safe here. Let's open the safe. I don't know the combination. All right, we have to find the combination. There's a phone here. Uh, this is going to be the uh, LucasArts tip line joke, I think. Even 911 won't handle this kind of emergency. Oh my god, no, there's no LucasArts tip line joke in this one. Those are always really funny, actually. Anyway, and maybe they missed a bit of a trick there. Okay, so we have this room in here, which is uh, 200 years ago where the founding fathers are. Um, and in this day and age, it is, of course, a some sort of clown fiesta with the actual Uzo the Clown. Should we open him? Not with what's left of my fingernails. Okay. Should we push him? <laughs> oh my I god. I hate that clown. Alright, just one more time. Come on. <laughs> the fucking sound. And the laughing too. My god, that's great. Okay. There's some grating here. Should we open this grating? Oh, we can actually open the grating. What the hell can we put into the grating? Can we 
pick up the gritty? Oh. Oh. Okay, so because this grating is here, right, that means that it's going to be also in Hoagie's time. So we might be hey able to do something. Hey, boy, some... you missed the party. What the hell? You and the clown were having a party? Oh, look at that fly. Oh, what no, is all this crap? Night. Oh, my God. Salesman's convention. I tell you, we novelty good salesmen know how to have a good time. Uh, has anyone ever told you that you look like Don Quixote? Nice cigars. Uh, so where is everybody? Nice cigars. Nice cigars. I roll them myself. Don, nice. Don't want a cigar? Yeah, I would love one. Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on sure, me. Sure, lay one of those Havanan babies on me. Nice. Oh, is it a real cigar? Or is it like an exploding one? Your head off there, didn't you? <laughs> Jesus, yeah, I did. Well, you were right. Oh. <laughs> what a fucking asshole. Look at him. Look at him. He's yeah, doing that thing where you can't even hear him laughing. He's habit. laughing so hard. Jesus Christ. That cracks me up every time. Man. Okay. Can we pick up this cigar lighter? Because we could definitely use that. Hands up, boy. That's a precision made novelty device. There's a table covered with junk here. There's, um. Disgusting mounds of party garbage over here. Uh, there's some chattering teeth here, which could be useful. Maybe it's something to do with the horse? Oh. Yikes. Oh, I know. I know. Or do I? Do we somehow have to get it into the grating? I think we do. Maybe this is nothing to do with Hoagie at all. Okay, so we just have to, like, go around him a bit. Okay, he's off again. All right, we have to chase him into the... Whoops. We have to chase him into the grate, I think. Oh, we did it. Okay, perfect. We now have the teeth. Wonderful! And we should be able to send those back to Hoagie. We'll flush them through time. Man, I like flushing them through time. Uh, do we need one of those exploding cigarettes? Or, sorry, cigars? Probably not, actually. What's in here? This is like the kitchen, right? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Damn it. All right, let's pick up this fork. I thought I wasn't going to be able to go in here for a second. Just getting freaked out. Uh, rap sheet. Thief. Nice. So we want some decaf coffee. And some normal coffee. Sure, why not? And uh, do you want to use the coffee maker? It's already perking away. Nice. That's good. Uh, there's also a microwave here. Should we open the microwave? I'm not touching it. Why not? These models have a history of leakage. Oh. Okay. Do we need any microwave leakage? I don't think so. There's another door here. I like the start of uh, LucasArts games. Especially because you're sort of like... There's definitely a structure to them, but you're allowed to pick up so much shit. And then you're just like, Oh, I've got this huge inventory full of stuff that I sort of have to keep track of and I have to be reminded of like what to do and stuff it's, it's really good look at the washer it looks this washer broken it does doesn't it it looks super duper broken okay there is a funnel in here i don't remember what the funnel is for there's also a dryer here is there anything actually in here there's nothing in the dryer there's a coin slot do not sit on machines for sale cats four legs two eyes one head that's the kind of cat you probably want, actually. Uh, and we don't have anything that we would realistically want to put into the dryer. Okie dokie. Oh! Rash of cow tipping baffles police. Triangular man spotted at scene. <laughs> nice. Okay. Let's go back through here. Oh my god, that clown. Fuck, I love the sound that it makes. It's incredible. Do we have anything that we can get the gum with? Oh shit, I forgot about the you suck! Okay, let's go get the vacuum cleaner. Before I forget. Because we did actually 
Hey, where the fuck is the you suck? Is it like over here? Did it appear over here? Whoa, where the shit is it? I'm sure that we had the you suck. Didn't we? We did the flyer thing and everything? Is it over here or something? Wait the fucking second. Is it not in this time? Is it like in... Oh, is it like in Laverne's time? How the Christ am I supposed to get the fucking fake barf off the ceiling? I don't remember. Shit. Um, okay, fine. Well, there we go. I guess uh, we'll go upstairs with Bernard next time and uh, scrounge around up there. There's a couple of things that we can send back to Hoagie. Um, we need to get rid of the tree so that we can actually activate Laverne and do stuff in the future. Um, which I think I remember how to do, but I think we need some paint for it. But we'll see anyway. Uh, there you go. Another uh, day of the tentacle remastered. What a game. Holy shit. It's just as good as I remember. If not better, actually. I don't think I fully appreciated how fucking funny this game was when I was like 13 years old. Uh, now that I'm a bit older... Um, I feel like maybe I, I get some of the jokes a bit more and stuff, which is nice. Bernard just um, dug for gold there and came up trumps. Crazy. All right. Uh, as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.